Hey guys, Brent Hall Build Show here today to tell you about a dirty little secret in our shop. Now, um, this is a philosophical thing about how to build things, right? Now, you're, what you're looking at is the assembly area of our shop. Notice that we are building things on benches, right? And that we've got you know some machinery in here, but we're shop building and bench building equipment. Now, <laughs> the problem with today, okay, is that technology makes us lazy, okay? Um, and one of the things we're asked sometimes when we carve something, sometimes when we're making something is, how did you do that? And do you have a CNC? Well, <laughs> our little dirty secret is that we do actually have a CNC. Now, when I bought this shop from a guy who was retiring in the production cabinet business, he had a CNC machine, so we inherited it. I actually never bought one, <laughs> kind of proud to say. Now, why am I kind of geeking out about that? Because in this day and age, these machines, this CNC stands for Computer Numerically Controlled Router, basically. And so, um, basically, you know, here's a little three-quarter inch hand router where you got a little motor and it spins a blade, right? That's all this is, is a bigger one, right? Bigger motor, bigger blade, interchangeable things. And it's computer controlled because the, the, the stuff sits on this table and gets cut out. So what happens is, is when we bought this from this guy, there would be a stack of plywood here. And this, there was no benches. This room was completely empty, right? And so what he would do is he would, in another room, they would design these cabinets. And then it would be sent to this computer module there. And then this guy would just load sheets of plywood. It would cut out the sheets of plywood. He'd put them on a cart, and they were basically assembling cabinets, right? And so that's not how we used to build, right? That's not how things used to be made. Now, what we're, our goal with everything we're doing is trying to make things last 100 years. And so what happens with these things is that joinery becomes uh, glues or staples or nails instead of you know, mortise and tenon instead of dovetails, instead of things that the way they used to be built. We think that, I think, when those things happen, um, when they're built with that solid joinery, they last 100 years or more. Now, how do we know that? Because we're restoring doors and windows and things all the time that were made 100 years ago that are still in great shape. So we want to replicate that. And the problem with the CNC is technology makes us lazy, right? <laughs> There are literally, if you go to the, the woodworking show in Vegas, you can almost stick a raw piece of wood in one side and get a door out of the other side. There's no more craft involved. And so we have a CNC and we use a CNC, right? Quite a bit because it's an effective tool, right? It is not the answer. I'm not gonna go fire all my guys because I've got machinery that's gonna be able to do everything. We still need our guys. Now, here's a couple examples. The, uh, this little fish scale detail, right? You might have seen it uh, at that house we did. Kind of here's a, here's a sample, right? The way we did that, we, we worked this out, it was a beautiful detail, but there was a lot of work in, involved. And so this machine came along and cut out all these parts, right? Cut out all these parts and pieces, right, that you see. So there's a big block of wood, and the router came in and cut these out. And you'll see that when we turn this around, once this design is made, right, you end up with all these pretty details, right? You end up with stuff. But this machine helped us become more efficient. This machine helped us, once we solved how we were going to make it, right, this machine helped us improve our efficiency, right? Here's a scroll bracket for a job that we did, right? Once we work out the proportions of the details of how the volute is really supposed to look, we use this machine to cut it out because it's very precise. However, you'll see right here that the router bit has stopped, right? That the router bit has actually stopped right there, but this volute really needs to continue inside here. And so we will hand carve the rest of that, right? So this machine helps us become efficient, but we still use our hands to make things more beautiful. And then we do radius work all the time. Probably the most common thing that this, this uh, machine is used for is to help us cut radiuses cut accurate radiuses. So in this panel that went in this Gidley room reproduction, we have a radius here, and then there's another molding that went on the outside of here, right? Well, so we cut it out, but what happens is, is that router comes into here and it can't cut into the corners, right? It can't cut these things because the blades aren't fine enough. That's another area where we come back by hand and clean that up. So it's balance, right? It's, it's not 
um, that this machine is a dirty secret, right? But this machine should be used as a tool in the modern shop to become better, become more efficient. But it isn't something where it's not the lazy man's answers to riches, right? It is a lazy man's answer to go out of business, right? That you spend 150000 or $450,000 on a piece of equipment and fire all your guys. It's a bad recipe. Anyway, we're liking to build things so they last 100 years. We think it's a combination of those things that makes it work. I'm Brent Hull. Thanks for watching.